uh, it's a great pleasure to host you in our studio. Sir, you are in charge of the great MBDA successes in the Middle East. Right now it's time for Poland. So you, uh, you brought to Poland uh, excellent, uh, let's say, f system. This is COMS. And COMS is able to see, we are able to see uh, in uh, UK stand. So if you please tell me, what is your approach to uh, CAM offer uh, for Polish uh, defense? Well, thank you for having me, first of all. Um, thank you for your kind words. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here in Poland. It's a pleasure to be back at, back at uh, MSPO. And CAM really for us is hopefully going to offer across a number of areas unique capability for Poland. So that's the military capability, but it's also the industrial capability as well. So we, we are offering and able to offer an unprecedented level of technology transfer. And that's backed up by a very deep UK and Poland security treaty. So on the back of that, we're offering a missile that will hopefully be built in Poland, manufactured in Poland. Yes. As By the way, sorry for interruption, no. which company you selected for Polish uh, main partner in building uh, or manufacturing uh, that system in Poland? Well, we're, we're under the direction uh, of, of the PGZ um, direction and the IU's direction in terms of who they would like us to partner with. So we're working closely with PGZ. Um, and you know, whoever is chosen to be the effector partner will work with those companies. We've already had success and a lot of close relationship with some of those companies. Mesco are already producing parts to missiles for CAM um, and the Brimstone missile as well. So we already have some good trust and relationships built uh, within the narrow consortium. Um, same goes for some of the sensor and radar companies and, and we hope that, that will grow. So you know, we see Narev as being all Polish and it's po you know, we're interoperable with the Polish sensors, Polish radars and the missile itself and the launcher becomes a Polish entity of that where we transfer the technology so that it's really built here. So it generally it means that it's a completely polonization of the CAM. Absolutely, and that, that for us is, is the uniqueness of our offer. We are able to offer such a deep level of technology transfer that we can Polonize it completely. So we work with the companies within Poland to be able to offer the knowledge transfer and the technology transfer that really makes this a Polish success story, and that's what we want for Poland. MBDA is a European missile house, and in fact one of the greatest in the world. Uh, you are also going to offer Brian Brimston for Poland uh, with the complete polonization as well? Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's a similar um, concept to the work we're doing with CAM. And we hope that it might lead to a portfolio of missiles to build up the missile industry in Poland. Brimstone is another great example where we have a unique missile, um, a, you know, a proven operationally capable missile in Brimstone that can defeat the mass armor threat that uh, we think Poland is facing. And that, with its technology transfer in the same way as CAM, can be built and manufactured in, in Poland. Um, and the same missile, we hope, that could be used on tank destroyers, could also be used on helicopters. Program Otokar Brzoza. It's hard to pronounce in, in English, but this is, you, you know what we are talking about. This is a tank destroyer. Absolutely, yeah. I'm afraid my, my Polish is far poorer than your English, but, but the tank destroyer is exactly what we're going after. And that is hopefully going to be a common missile that could be used in the air on helicopters, on fast jets, as well as different building platforms. from the different platforms. And, and it's, Brimstone has that unique capability that from fast jets to land vehicles, you know, it has a, a very unique capability. And in which phase are you talks on uh, uh, implementing Brimstone and uh, uh, comes into the, uh, let's say, pure Polish programs? So we're in advanced discussions at the moment with the Armament Expectorate um, and with industry to try and make these offers as attractive as possible and to be selected. And we hope that, that we will be successful in those selections, but of course we're waiting for decisions from the Polish authorities to try and move forward. Okay, and uh, this is another supplement for that uh, range of the products you have mentioned. It's uh, uh, something like a weaponry and the missile systems for F-35. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that is, when I talk about the portfolio of weapons, um, it's both a capability and an industrial offer that goes across air, land and sea. Um, and actually the benefits for Poland can go across 
both you know, GBAD up to F-35. As an example, the CAM missile has 70% commonality with the ASRAM short-range air defence missile that the UK now has uh, in, in being integrated to F-35. So if CAM was built here in Poland, then it you know, stands to reason that ASRAM could also be manufactured here and, and give F-35 a world-class short-range air defence capability. It seems that uh, if the uh, decision will be positive in, in, from the Polish side, we would have the same, uh, let's say, uh, missile weaponry like the uh, uh, British F-35. Yeah, well, we're, we're very lucky that the UK has been able to select ASRAM, Meteor and Spear for its F-35. Um, and we see no reason why that kind of commonality and collaboration with the UK RAF couldn't read across to the same weapons in Poland. Um, and we see the same with CAM and, and ships. The Miezhnik program could also have the same CAM missiles uh, that are named Sea Scepter in the UK. So I think that commonality is a great advantage, hopefully, for Poland in the future. And uh, is that uh, fr is that just entry or the bridgehead or you are going to expand or the enhance uh, the, uh, let's say you offer technological offer for Poland, I mean MBDA offer for Poland for different fields of the uh, technology? Well, we're trying to make that technology offer as broad as possible. Uh, and that's what hopefully makes our offer unique at the moment. Um, and so, you know, the offers and the technical modernization programs that we're working on, we aim all the time, backed up by the UK government, to be able to offer a really unique level of technology transfer. You, say, you said the uh, UK government back up and uh, support. Uh, uh, do you feel that this also from the Polish side such, uh, let's say, uh, support for the uh, putting our face into the UK industry? Well, I hope so, because you know, what I've seen from the UK and Polish interaction at the government level has been excellent so far. I think we enjoy a very good relationship. As I said, the Defence and Security Treaty that was signed a couple of years ago really underpins what we're trying to achieve. So hopefully the UK and the UK government is seen as a strong ally and a strong strategic partner going forward. And MBDA is here to facilitate offering um, world-class missile technology to back that up. We are talking in the 18th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. So uh, I wish you success and th that would crown, let's say, cooperation between the, uh, in defense between the UK and Poland if something will happen e effectively in the uh, period we celebrate 18th anniversary of the Battle of Britain in which the Polish pilots also, also took part in, in, in defensive battle against the Luftwaffe of a, the of a UK. Absolutely. We, you know, we clearly had a Polish squadron that played a vital part in the Battle of Britain and we're hoping that 80 years later you know, we'll see MBDA working well with Polish industry and uh, the Polish military to be able to deliver this world-class capability here soon. I wish you the same. So, close cooperation like during the Battle of Britain. I hope so. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you.